Hello everyone, and welcome to my Days of Our Lives 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. EJ's marriage in danger, Brady covers Teresa's sentiments and Abe's exceptional gift. V Days of Our Lives, DOL, spoilers update for Monday, June 17th, uncovers that Paulina Value, Jackie Harry, will require some solace as she processes Chanel DiMera, Raven Bowens, and Johnny DiMera's, Carson Boatman, most recent news. In spite of the fact that Paulina eventually attempted to be steady, she's as yet devastated over the possibility of Johnny and Chanel living so distant. Chanel consented to move to Los Angeles with Johnny as he seeks after a film creating open door, so Abe Carver, James Reynolds, will need to assist Paulina with adapting. Will Abe choose a visit from Lonnie Value Award, Sal Stowers, Eli Award, Lamont Archie, and the twins is exactly what was needed? Abe may surprise Paulina with a small family get-together as they get ready for Johnny and Chanel's farewell party. On Juneteenth, that party will also serve as Paulina and Abe's anniversary celebration. Meanwhile, Alex Kiriakis, Robert Scott Wilson, will run into Brady Dark, Eric Martzolf, so they'll address the obvious issue at hand. Brady hit the sack with Teresa Donovan, Emily O'Brien, however that generally happened on the grounds that she needed to exact revenge on Alex for keeping Kristen DiMera, Stacey Hayduke, as an afterthought. Regardless of Brady's undeniable affections for Teresa, he'll stuff those down and guarantee Alex that he's in an ideal situation simply being co-guardians with her. Obviously, we ought to call attention to that a kiss occurs among Teresa and Brady in DOL's week-by-week C -week video. If Brady, Teresa, or both are still craving each other on some level, they might fantasize about having an affair. Having said that, Teresa is committed to Alex, who will propose to her later in the week of June 17th to 21st and declare his love for her. In the meantime, since Brandon Barish recently discovered the genetic test results in the safe, let's talk about Stefan Demera's leverage. Stefan is aware that E.J. DiMera, Dan Furigal, isn't the baby daddy after all because he knows about Jude DiMera, also known as Jude Brady, Oliver McClarty. As he exaggerates the authority he now wields over his brother, Stefan will force E.J. into a corner. E.J. might be compelled to get Gabby Hernandez DiMera, last played by Camila Banis, out of prison pronto in any event to maintain this mystery covered and ensure his union with Nicole DiMera, Ariane Zucker, stays in one piece. Stefan might make an expectation about Nicole separating from EJ and leaving him for Eric Brady, Greg Vaughn, on the off chance that she learns reality. EJ will understand that is precisely what will occur on the off chance that he doesn't follow Stefan's requests, so he might consent to free Gabby as quick as possible. According to Days of Our Lives spoilers, Kristen's CEO news and Stefan's shocking updates will make EJ's day even worse, is the reason Eric Brady requires EJ's legal representation is divorce? According to spoilers for Days of Our Lives, DOL, now that E.J. DeMera, Dan Fuhrerregel, is no longer the district attorney, Eric Brady, Greg Vaughn, will request legal counsel from E.J. DeMera. Eric's divorce from Sloan Peterson, Jessica Surfity, is being handled by E.J. Will this bring the truth about Olive McClarty's baby Jude Brady to light? Spoilers for Days of Our Lives, E.J. DeMera might opt out right away Spoilers for Days of Our Lives reveal that E.J. is assisting Sloan in remaining on the run and away from the authorities. Jude is actually Eric's son, which E.J. is aware of as well. Since E.J. has no intention of disclosing the truth about this, someone else will have to tell Jude's story. Will another person uncover Jude's paternity? Eric shouldn't be near E.J.'s wife. The main explanation that E.J. brought Jude home was to hold Nicole back from fantasizing about Eric, something he thinks she has previously finished. How is it possible that E.J. missed this? Nicole actually maintains that Eric should associate with that child. Will E.J. figure out how to prevent Eric from coming around too? DOL spoilers Eric Brady need free of Sloan Peterson Eric needs to dispose of Sloan when humanly conceivable Eric needs no connections to this lady at all when he is finished. Eric doesn't want to pay her anything else or alimony. Eric unquestionably needs no sort of help from Sloan. Sloan shouldn't have any part of Eric's business either. Eric finished. They haven't been happy with Eric and Sloan so far. After all, Sloan has been doomed from the start. Sloan has no idea how badly Eric is hurt or what Eric will do next. Eric has told Sloan he would rather not see her once more and no one can fault him. 
Will Eric get his opportunity and rejoin with the lady he really cherishes? Days of our lives spoilers why EJ Demera? Since EJ is not the only attorney in Salem, why would Eric turn to a man who has never been kind to him? Even though Belle Black, Martha Madison, isn't there, EJ isn't the only lawyer in town. Eric could have contacted Justin, too. Is Eric merely attempting to maintain a relationship with Nicole Walker, Ariane Zucker? At any time, EJ could turn on Eric. EJ is completely unreliable. EJ would effectively get what he needs and that incorporates assisting Eric's better half with stowing away from him. Will EJ assist in prolonging this divorce so that Eric cannot seduce Nicole? When EJ's role in the baby switch is revealed, what will happen? Stefan coerces EJ over Jude's paternity, Gobby's quick way to opportunity. According to the Days of Our Lives, DOL, spoilers for Monday, June 17, Alex Kiriakis, Robert Scott Wilson, will make the decision to have a brief conversation with Brady Black, Eric Martzolf, in order to make things clearer. There's been some strain since Alex tracked down Brady in bed with Teresa Donovan, Emily O'Brien, yet he might expect to fix that. All things considered, Alex just has himself to fault for connecting with Kristen DiMera, Stacey Hayduke, as an afterthought and driving Teresa into Brady's arms. On the other hand, Alex might also try to persuade Brady to respect Alex's mutual commitment to Teresa. Next, Paulina Price, Jackie Harry, will continue to be consoled by Abe Carver, James Reynolds, regarding Chanel DiMera's, Raven Bowens, and Johnny DiMera's, Carson Boatman, decision to relocate to Los Angeles. Since Paulina needs to toss Johnny and Chanel a disappearing party, Abe could recommend joining it with their commemoration and making this slam a memorable festival. On the other hand, Paulina might get a surprise from Abe. Day's spoilers indicate that Eli Grant, Lamon Archie, and Lonnie Price Grant, Sal Stowers, will return home later during the week of June 17th to 21st, suggesting that Abe may secretly invite them. Kristen will gloat to Dan Furigal's EJ DiMera about becoming DiMera Enterprise's official CEO in the interim. Kristen might suggest that he could always concentrate on being a stay-at-home dad because EJ is no longer the DA as well. Obviously, DOL fans realize EJ isn't actually Jude DiMera, also known as Jude Brady's, Oliver McClarty, natural dad and presently Stefan DiMera, Brandon Barish, knows that too since he just found the hereditary testing report in the safe. Stefan will discuss what he has learned with EJ in the day's episode on Monday and will abandon his escape plan now that he has a much better option. Stefan might caution that EJ will assist him with scoring sufficient proof to free Gabby Hernandez DiMera, last played by Camila Banis, or probably Nicole DiMera, Ariane Zucker, will gain proficiency with reality with regards to Jude's paternity alongside every other person. EJ will be backed into a corner, as predicted by our day's predictions, and may be forced to assist Stefan in securing Gabby's release. Days of Our Lives spoilers say Stefan's newly discovered information will rankle EJ, so we'll bring you reports on the standoff that will follow Stefan's news.